Welcome back to Whiteboard Wednesday. My name is Mike Cromwell. I'm Brian Duvall. There's no shortage of reports out there that talk about shortage of IT talent, especially specialization areas such as security. And you've also got the, 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 the pull through hidden costs around staffing expenses, turnover expenses. You've got benefits and training and all these other costs that people often don't think about. So. Right. What's the impact you think on the talent acquisition front? There are a lot of costs that aren't necessarily loaded into what you might consider a salary for an IT person to be. Benefits is one, training is another. You know, you've got a lot of different factors to consider. But you know, I think the most challenging thing for enterprises when they're trying to recruit technical people is trying to get them interested in their organization and what they'll be doing. You know, because in, a, in an enterprise, you have this you know, this kind of static set of equipment that you're dealing with on a regular basis or the same group of end users that you're interacting with and the same technology that you're interacting with, the same vendors and all those, you know, everything that, that is just your, that's your ecosystem and your enterprise uh, consists of. But we see a lot of people coming out of the enterprise that are looking to go to an MSP because they get to touch every piece of technology, you know, that's in the technology landscape. And if they, if they have an affinity towards cybersecurity, and that's where they want to grow their career, they might onboard with an MSP much quicker than they would a, an enterprise because they have a direct path for promotion within that MSP where they can you know, take a different career path or change their career right. path slightly. So they have a whole lot more opportunity in an MSP. And for that reason, we're seeing a lot of people coming to the MSP community and looking for employment. And the other big thing I got to assume is because Netrio is based in the suburbs of Dallas and there's a plethora of technical talent in this market, and by the way, more and more people moving here, it's got to be probably a lot more favorable than if you're a business sitting in San Francisco or New York City or Boston or some other high cost. And all the cost, yeah, and all the cost considerations associated with it. Yeah, we're seeing a ton of people flooding in from California specifically right now, where the cost of living has gotten completely out of hand. Uh, and there's and the jobs are available here in Texas because MSPs like us are growing and we're hiring like crazy. We're hiring right now. So uh, I don't think we've stopped hiring in the last year. You know, So it's gonna continue, that pattern is gonna continue to, or that business model is gonna continue to be logical for businesses to start outsourcing you know, some portion of their IT services to an MSP.